That's it, little red tractor. Keep it coming. Wow! What's that, Uncle Walter? Yeah, that's Stan's traction engine, that is. And today, we're finally going to get him going. Way cool! Oh, yeah? Well, pin your ears back and get a load of this. No, I meant the traction engine. Way cool. And she weighs a cool ten tons, Leo. Traction engines were designed to pull very heavy loads. Well, maybe it could pull us all round a beach farm for Mr Jones' barbecue. Oh, yes. I'd almost forgotten about the barbie. Well, this engine isn't going to pull anything unless we get her going again. Come on, Stan. First of all, we need to fire up the boiler. Boiler? Yeah. This doesn't run on petrol. It's steam-driven. Weird. What time's everyone coming round, Uncle Jasper? They are supposed to be here at about five o'clock, but there won't be much point if I can't get this wretched barbecue together. How's anyone without a degree in mechanical engineering supposed to... <laughs> oh, I don't know. <clears throat> Where are the instructions again? Here you are, Uncle Jasper. Oh, they're completely incomprehensible. I ah, it was upside down. <clears throat> so ridiculous! It says here, so simple a child of five could put it together. Well, don't look at me, Uncle Jasper. I'm eight. Oh, look at that! What am I supposed to do? That stupid thing! Nah. I will do it. I'm going to keep at it all night if that's what it takes. But Uncle Jasper, everyone will be here for the barbecue soon. Yes, Thomas, I know. Oh, the wind blows a windmill, sails around, and in the mill the flour is ground. The flour we use to bake the bread. That case all of you. Hey, will you stop making that racket? Well, sorry, Elsie, I was just fixing Nibra's exhaust. I'm not talking about that noise, Stumpy. I mean that horrible bellowing sound. Well, that was singing. Oh, that's what you call it, is it? <laughs> well, you can sing all the way to Mr. Jones's. I've baked some cakes to take to the barbecue, and I want you to take them round there. OK, Elsie, just as soon as I fix... Oh, sorry, Nipper. Oh, the wind blows a windmill around... Stumpy! <laughs> I don't get it. It's got up a good head of steam, but it's just not working. Pressure's looking good, Stan. Still no luck? Not yet. I'll take a look underneath, see if there's any loose connections in the pipes. Anyone check the valve chest? <laughs> Still got it. Great stuff, Nicola. What did you do? Nothing. Nah, it was me, Stan. Not lost the old touch, eh? <laughs> Gave the old valve chest a whack and Stan? Uh... Stan? I can't stop it. Hang on, Nicola. Gotcha. Yeah, whoa, whoa. Nicola, jump. I can't. It'll run riot through Babble Brook. Leave this to me and Little Red Tractor. Don't worry, we'll catch up with them, and then we'll... we'll... we'll think of something. There. Wasn't that difficult after all? Uh, are you sure that's how it's supposed to look? It is a bit, um, isn't it? Still, I'm sure it'll work just fine. Now to fire it up. Uncle Jasper? Turn on the gas. I don't think it's very good. And light it. Oh, dear. Uncle Jasper, is the barbecue off? I rather think it is. Walter sells those throwaway barbecues at his garage. Good thinking, Thomas. Of course, that's what we'll do. To blaze us with this heap of old scrap metal, let's go and get ourselves some proper barbecues. Any luck? No! It looks like it's stuck in go mode! Don't worry, Nicola. I'll get the gate. Come on, little red tractor. Phew! That was close. Whoa! The wind blows a windmill, sails around and in the Stop middle of the... Me. Oh, wow. Look out! 
Nicola, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. But you've got to stop the traction engine. It's going straight towards Mr Jones's house. Wow. Quick, little red tractor. Well, what happened? Got to stop it. Easy does it, little red tractor. OK. Now, brake. That's it. You're holding her. The valve chest, Nicola. Try doing what Walter did. Brilliant. Well done, Nicola. Great stuff, little red tractor. Well, I don't reckon Mr Jones is going to think it's brilliant when he sees what you've done to his barbecue. Oh, no. I guess we'll just have to own up. Mr Jones! Uh, Mr Jones! Mr Jones! I don't think he's here. Must have popped out for something. Well, in that case, we might just get away with it, Stan. <laughs> Reckon we can put it back together as good as new. Hello, who's the... Why, of all the selfish... It is Sunday, Uncle Jasper. Yes, but I need those barbecues. I need some pets. Oh, what's the use? Come on, Thomas. We'll just have to tell everyone the barbecues are... <laughs> like I said, he'll never know the difference. Phew. And now you and I have got a spot more work to do, Little Red Tractor. <laughs> Nicola, can you steer the traction engine again while Little Red Tractor tows her back to Gosling Farm? That's it, Little Red Tractor. Not looking forward to telling everyone the barbecue's off, I can tell you, Thomas. Not looking forward to it one little... Uncle Jasper, look! What on earth? But how? Come on, then. All aboard and let's get to that barbie. Hmm. Nice barbie you've got there, Mr Jones. Yes, it's a kit job, you know. They say they're hard to assemble, but me, well, put it together in no time at all. Ah, Stumpy and Elsie, good to see you. Mr Jones here was telling me these things are a doddle to put together. Well, not a doddle, exactly. It does take a mechanical mind, a fair bit of technical know-how, a bit of expertise. Oh, it wasn't that hard, Mr Jones. <laughs> no, surprisingly simple, actually, on the, uh, the, on the, on the, the... What? You mean... I've got a confession to make. I'm afraid that earlier on I had a bit of an accident with it. But I hope we put it back together again OK. You mean you put it together? It's lucky you did, Stan. When Uncle Jasper tried, it kept falling apart, didn't it? So, um, you didn't put it together then, Mr J? No, I, I, well, I, I, I think the sausages are just about ready, don't you? <laughs> Come and get it! Yeah, oh, great, I well, I suppose it doesn't matter who made the barbie, just so long as there's plenty of lovely grub. Morning, little red tractor. I won! Yeah, the champion! You never said it was a race. Is he here yet? Who, little red tractor? Of course he is. Look over there. No, Stan. Mr. Jones's nephew. <laughs> Thomas? Yes, he should be here. Little Red Tractor and I were waiting for you so we could all go and meet him together. I hope he's good at running. Bet he's better than you. Oh, yeah. Well, let's go over to Beach Farm and find out. <laughs> <laughs> 
Come on, climb aboard. Unless you want to run all the way to Beach Farm, that is. Come on, little red tractor, let's go! Stan should be here soon with Ryan and Amy. I'm sure you'll like them. They can show you around Bubble Book and... Bubble Book smells. I want to go and play on the computer. Oh, very well, if that's what you want. I don't know. Children of today on computers and mobile televisions, not like the old days. Hello there, Mr Jones. Is he here yet? If you mean Thomas, oh yes, he's here. Thomas! To be honest with you, Stan, I don't think Thomas likes the countryside very much. He's lived in the city all his life, you know. And now that my sister and her husband have moved out here, well, I, I think it's going to take him a while to settle down. Don't you worry, Mr Jones. Me and Little Red Tractor will show him round. I'm sure he'll soon get to like it. Well, I hope so. Oh, where is Thomas! There are some people here to see! That computer's rubbish. I wanted to play speed bikes, but there's only boring car games on it. Speed bikes? It's a computer game. You race bikes, and it's great. Really fast. Oh, into bikes, are you, Thomas? Yes, but I don't expect there's anything like that around here. Stumpy's got a quad bike. Well, perhaps we could take you to see him. We're going to take some food to the cows, and then after that we need to drop some corn off at Stumpy's windmill. Want to come? All right. And you can have a ride in Little Red Tractor's trailer. Hop on then, Thomas. All aboard. Oh, my sweatshirt! It's got dirt all over it! Just a little grime and... Uh, and it'll come out in the wash. I suppose so. There was an old miller who lived on a hill, a happy old feller who loved his old mill, and if he's not left it, then he'll be there still! A mill in his flare Stumpy! And... Will you stop that racket? Racket? That was singing, that was! Singing? <laughs> is that what you call it? And what are you up to, anyway? <laughs> it's this here back wheel. Tracking's a bit off. It's gone all wobbly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, Nipper. So I'm sorting it out. After all, I wouldn't want to come a cropper when I'm out on him, would I? Oh, no. That'd never do. Nope. Safety first. That's what I always say. First time I've heard you say it. There was an old miller who... Stumpy! <laughs> Here we are, then. Are you going to come and help us feed the cows, Thomas? I don't like cows. <laughs> come on, Thomas. They won't bite. The only thing they're interested in biting is their lunch. Hey, Thomas! You're not frightened of a silly old cow, are you? Me? Frightened? <laughs> come on, Thomas. They're really gentle. Look, she likes it. Hey, I did it! I mean... Come on, you lot. Time we were getting off to Stumpy's. The man with the quad bike. Brilliant. Race you back to Little Red Tractor, Thomas. Wait for me. Whoa! <laughs> uh. Hello there, Stan. Good to see you, Stan. You too, Little Red Tractor. <laughs> oh, and who's this young fella then, eh? Nope, don't tell me. You're the new arrival, Mr Jones' nephew. <laughs> That's right, Stumpy. Oh, I expect Mr Jones is showing you a high old time. You're talking of high. What's that smell? Me, I fell into some cow stuff. We were having a race. I reckon Thomas might have won if he hadn't... Uh, you're quite quick. Thanks. You're a bit smelly, though. Stumpy! Now then, how about a slice of homemade cake? And maybe I can find you some of Stumpy's old clothes for you to put on while I give yours a quick soak. Uh, no thanks. Well, how about giving me a hand to get the corn out of the trailer, Stumpy? Right you are, Stan. Uh, are you the man with the quad bike? <clears throat> oh, you mean Nipper? Oh, that's right. <clears throat> you like bikes then, do you? Yeah. 
Well, perhaps you ought to come and take a look at Nipper. Yes, please. There he is. <laughs> Quite a beauty, isn't he? Yeah. Brilliant. Thanks, Mr. Stumpy. Thanks a lot. Oh, no! It's running away! Mr. Stumpy, your bike! It's running away! Help! Mr. Stumpy! Thomas, something that... Nipper! Oh, oh, my word! Stop! Don't worry, Stumpy. Little Red Tractor will catch up with him. Come on, Little Red Tractor. <laughs> <laughs> well, Thomas, what happened here? I don't know. Nipper just... he rolled off. I tried to chase him, and now he's stuck. Stuck, is he? Oh, it's no use. He's well and truly stuck. We'll just have to move that tree. Move the tree? How? Little Red Tractor will give it a go, won't you? <laughs> He'll never lift that tree. Little Red Tractor's a lot tougher than he looks. Stand clear, Thomas. Come on, Little Red Tractor. You can do it. It's moving! Come on, Little Red Tractor! Hurry, Little Red Tractor. The rope! Where are... Oh, quick, Stumpy. Get him out. I don't know how much longer Little Red Tractor can hold the tree. And that rope's going to break. Stay back. Come on, Nipper. That's it. That was brilliant. You're great, Little Red Tractor. Now, Thomas, what actually happened? Stan, it, it, it's all my fault. I... Me and my fiddling. I must have loosened the brake cable when I was fixing that there wheel, and Nipper must have slipped off the axle supports. <laughs> Still, no harm done. Nice work, little red tractor. What, <laughs> <laughs> Thomas? Grief. What the hell? We went to see Stumpy and Nipper and ran away, but Little Red Tractor saved him. We did lots of stuff, and Ryan and Amy aren't my new friends, and we had to ride on Nipper. And what is that smell? That'll be me. Well, cows, actually. Cows are great. Have you ever stroked a cow, Uncle Jasper? They're really big, but they're brilliant. But not as brilliant as Little Red Tractor. He's the best. Jasper? <laughs> 